Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a more detailed look on the mini soft trunk from the men's spring summer 2022 collection. And I've already unboxed this item and I got another bag and two pocket organizers. So this was the main item that I wanted to get from the spring summer collection. I also wanted to collect the other gradient color, which is in the green blue. But for this, there really wasn't much bag options. It's either the, I think, keep all this. There was like a, a double pouch. This retails for 4,550 in the US. And you see the chain here. In this video, I'm gonna show you what fits inside just to give you kind of a idea. And then I'll show you what it looks like on as well. So right now I have this adjusted. So it's clipped onto the third link which shortens, this is how you shorten the chain. In terms of compartment, just like all of the mini soft trunks, they have a front zipper, which is attached with a chain here. And I like, I actually like this detail here. I like the scale of this chain, but I don't necessarily like how large these are and how loud they get. Whereas this sounds more like jewelry. So it's one flat pocket in the front and it's lined with the same blue textile that you'll see inside as well. And the corners are all, four of the corners are, have the metal corners, but they look matte right now because they still have the protective film on it. And I actually kind of don't mind the matte look, but I think once they start peeling, I'm gonna remove all of them. And so on the bottom, this is the true blue color that I fade. So I think this is actually dyed just a single color, whereas, here in the front and the sides, as you can see, the color looks like it changes as I'm rotating it because they're, I believe they're airbrushed in a way where they're angled. And so depending on the depth, you're gonna get more pink looking at it from the top and then you're gonna get more of the blue when you're looking at it from the bottom. Like right here, it almost looks like 80% of the bag is in the blue but once you start rotating it, it looks more 50-50 here. And then from the top, as you can see, you still see a bit of the blue, but definitely much more of the pink. So it's one large compartment inside plus a slot there. It's a flat pocket. The zipper, they do go down a little bit further, which does help you open the bag a little bit more, but just due to this kind of closure, you're not gonna be able to help having to bend the top a little bit, whether you do it this way or you fold it in to be able to really look inside the bag. And then what's inside the bag is the tag. It's a little hard to see just because the tag is also in Torian leather, so you see a lot of the grain, but the stamp is, this product is made in France and it has a runway stamp on the bottom, spring, summer, 2022. So like I was saying earlier, the shoulder strap can be adjusted through this clip, which isn't the easiest to adjust because you have to open it enough so that you can remove it. So this clip, which is the one they use, they use it on a lot of their products. I think even my cloud wallet trunk has the same clip. You could remove this and then you would put it on the longest, the last one if you want the longest length. And then you can change it up all the way until basically the last one. The shoulder strap itself is not completely removable because it's attached here and there's no button or closure system. I did notice actually right before this video, they do have a hex screw right there for the D-ring. So you could actually remove it maybe for storage or if you really didn't want the strap for whatever reason, if you want to wear it more like a clutch, you could. The only problem is that this zipper, this chain wouldn't have anything else to hold onto because you'd be removing the D-rings not necessarily the, the leather here. 
The shoulder strap is just a plain strip of leather. I wish they had the shoulder pad on this, but they don't. It's just one flat piece of leather and it has some of the airbrushing effect to it as well. So it's almost like an in-between the pink and the blue, which makes it look much more purple. And it's the same on both sides. And these chains are pretty heavy, I think. I don't know if they're completely solid, but they're definitely pretty thick. They used to be, I think most of the metal was made out of brass and then they're coated. I'm not sure if these are still made out of brass because the website just says that they're made out of metal now. So it doesn't necessarily specify what type it is, but it's definitely on the heavier side. One thing I've noticed using this bag, because I did actually wear it to the showroom, is because of the way this is attached and this is a soft trunk, it tends to pull on the side here. So you end up with a bit of bowing on the sides. So now I'm kind of going to show you more or less what fits inside just to give you a quick idea. In the front would fit, I think, most card wallets. I'm not sure if it'll fit a multiple wallet, it might, but a card wallet definitely fits in without any issue. So a passport doesn't fit all the way, unfortunately. It will go this horizontally, but then as you can see, it's pretty much at the max with the zipper. So you would have to stretch the leather, I think, or bend your passport in order to get it in. So if you're not worried about it sticking out, I guess it can fit, but you can't close the zipper. And then I also have the matching pocket organizer, which will fit but you just want to be careful with the zipper. You're probably not a good choice to really put it in because you have to maneuver it a little bit in order to get the top to close. So it's really just meant, I would say, for card wallets. So I'm just gonna put the card wallet back in. And as you can see, it can close without issues. And I have cards and money in there, so it's not an empty wallet. So for this inside, I did actually find out it fits my point and shoot. It's a Lumix camera, the LX100, because I did bring this in the showroom, but I decided not to really need, I didn't really need to use it. But it will fit in there and half of the bag is still empty, which can fit assortment of things, but I think for the purpose, I think most people aren't gonna really carry or have a point and shoot like this. Just trying to show you that it will fit. So because the passport doesn't fit inside, obviously it will fit in here. And if you want, this is probably a better place. If you did have a pocket organizer, you can fit it in the back here, obviously with the larger opening. And then you could have, I usually carry some sort of hand cream or hand sanitizer, lip balm, mints, or gum. And then this I've used pretty much in a lot of my videos lately. It approximates the size of a iPhone Pro. The iPhone Pro Max, which is what I'm using to record this, is slightly bigger and it does fit in, the, in this bag, but this is more of, I guess, a regular smartphone these days, is more of this size. This itself is an external battery but it fits without issue because it's even the, compared to the iPhone Pro Max, this is still quite a bit wider than it. And then I would have my keys in here. And then sometimes I usually like to carry a backup mask or a cloth mask that I'll fold up and put in here as well. So something like this, I might put in the pocket, the single pocket inside, just so it's separated from everything else. So that's probably as much as I'll carry. If I'm not traveling, I won't have my passport inside and it's not puffing out anywhere. So there's definitely more space to put things, but my suggestion or advice for these smaller bags is you don't want to overfill it because it's a bit of a pain to find what you have in this bag because of the smaller opening. And then finally, I'm gonna show you what it looks like worn.
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Check out my Instagram page for the latest updates and exclusive contents. I'll post more photos of modeling this as well because I did take some pictures while I was in Paris wearing this bag.